So what happens? Beginning of the year, we come up with an estimated overhead. We apply that overhead based on some sort of predetermined overhead rate that we got from estimating activity base, estimating a cost driver. Talk a little bit more in, <coughs> on Tuesday. We do this because the predetermined overhead rate allows overhead to be assigned during the period so we don't have to wait until actual costs come in. It helps us adjust for any variations in actual overhead that are unrelated to activity, electricity costs going up in the summer. It allows for us any kind of dealing with fluctuations that have nothing to do uh, you know, with fixed costs. Produce, uh, fixed costs. If we produce uh, or if we produce Christmas toys and the fixed cost uh, for rent was a hundred thousand, well we'll have a spike in production. Let's say they probably manufacturing for Christmas, <coughs> let's say September. We have a spike in production in September. Well if you have a fixed rent, that even if you take it month per month, $120,000, um, $10,000 per month. Well, then when the spike in production in September, cost per unit goes down compared to the fact we're only producing a little bit of toys from January, where the spike in cost goes up. So we need to you know, smooth that out. This allows for it. We estimate ahead of time the whole amount uh, overhead, including the total fixed cost rent. And then we spread it out over our activity base so when we have a spike that we're applying it related to actual production instead of waiting and having lower costs. More of the rent, yes, will be allocated to the higher production. Let's smooth those out. 